Kia ora, I'm going to share with you a layout I am creating using the Bake Cut file by Confessions of a pa Paper Addict. You'll be able to check them out in the store uh, link below. So I am going to scrapbook these photos. Now this, um, these photos were, by the time this is up, about a week and a half um, prior where my daughter had her 21st birthday now my girls seem to have this thing where they really love baking cakes and so in this um, scenario her 21st birthday cake was no different so Alicia baked the cake and then uh, Katya her sister who's in that black and white photo there uh, put time into decorating it and um, it took a bit of uh, Pinteresting and a few other things to find the kind of cake decoration that she wanted but then she set to and got it done now what I've done with the uh, letters from um, this cut file is they were sort of arranged in two by two, so B-A-K-E on the original thing and I just ungrouped them and then um, played around with different positions. You don't have to do that, they would have cut separately anyway, I just wanted to see what um, they would look like in the design space before I uh, cut them out. And so I've sort of done that and it also helped me see the sizing and to make sure uh, I was able to fit these in the layout that I was going to create. Now all three of these papers that I've used here are from different Close to My Heart collections. Um, I just sort of liked that retro feel of the florals in the background and then bringing in the orange um, or the smoothie I think is the actual colour name for that and a little bit of the blossom and the sort of a gingham on the back of this sort of tiny um, floral or sort of they remind me of those old tiles that you have uh, in kitchens or bathrooms or um, places like that and I'm just tearing down the edges because I wanted to soften the edges the cake itself has um, a little bit of a soft feel with the florals that um, my daughter Katya added to it as she was doing the decorating and so I just wanted to include a touch of that in the way I put this page together. So I've torn a strip that will be down the center as well as a slightly bigger one because I wanted to have some layers peeking through. Um, sorry if you see the camera move suddenly closer to the page. Uh, it did slip a couple of times during filming this. I need to um, change my setup a bit so it's a bit more permanent. So I'm going to use some of the green Tombow here to attach just um, in a few different places on these beautiful thin um, fine cut files before I stick them all down onto that background. I did play around with some different colours in the background uh, for the letters and I did wonder about colouring them or backing them but I decided I quite liked the simplicity of the white daisy on that background. I'm going to add some gold splatters because I know that where I've put that centrepiece will be covered up it is um, there. It's not a problem because that central splatter won't or that central splodge won't be shown. So I pop that aside to dry uh, and then I am going to get these papers ready to stick down. So I'm sticking where I put the title strip cut file down on the centerpiece and sort of I've got that there. So I'm going to rough up the edges just by curling them forward slightly or curling them towards me there as I move around the center one and then I'm going to do a little bit the same with the dotty paper in the background there. So I'm being a little bit um, particular in the way I curl it forward because I wanted some parts of it to show through and some parts um, to sort of be as they were and it just helps to lift or give that little bit of dimension on the page as well. Uh, I'm going to add, I think I end up putting five photos on this page so often I will have a single photo uh, but in this instance I was able to use five different photographs. So you can see the florals there that Katya has used when she's decorated the cake along the side so um, my oldest daughter Alicia loves her plants and she had done a big 21 She'd cut them and shaped them out of cardboard with her boyfriend and they had lots of leaves that they bought from Look Sharp which was a sort of a local cheap shop 
in here in New Zealand and she'd also put some fairy lights into those um, numbers. Keep an eye out uh, for some future layouts with some of how she decorated it. But we felt um, when Katya and I were sort of looking through Pinterest and a few other things for some cake ideas, um, we decided that it needed to be a floral uh, cake with some of the leaves and the plants because that was what Alicia had sort of done other things with her theming. Uh, admittedly the cake was only iced the day of uh, the birthday but it did mean that it was nice and fresh ready to go. So I do end up not putting this photo on this left hand side there. I sort of decide that I wanted almost sort of a progress shot but also because the story became about Katya's uh, cake decorating and how my girls both loved that it um, changed to sort of being on the top right there just above where I decide to add a journaling block. So I've sort of um, popped that there as the central piece and I think I do decide to leave the black picture up there in the end, uh, the black and white because it sort of showed that starting point up on the top left. And the finished cake at the birthday down the bottom as well as uh, the lighting of the candles. So Katya also lit the candles and the picture, the black and white picture there of her connects across. So now I am going to add some shapes. Now this came in a collection, I can't quite remember the name of it, but there was a few different baking implements and sort of looked at the ones that were here and the main one that Katya used was the cake mixer. So she's, you can see how she's got that silver bowl in front of her in the black and white photo and she has just mixed up the icing. So I'm just using the green Tombow to attach this down here. Um, I had to use a bit of green Tombow uh, on the day of the birthday as well because I was putting together uh, all of the layouts I've done over the years of Alicia as part of what would be available for people to look at at her 21st and a few of the letters had sort of fallen down in the page protector and the Tombow came in handy to stick them back on. So now I'm just adding some different gems and dots around the page. The julep ones here I think were the colour of the year or maybe two years ago. Uh, and I just felt that they tied in nicely with the green leaves and things that were on this cake. So I'm just randomly positioning them around as well as some of the gold um, the gold gems as well that are just being popped at different places around there just to add a little bit more interest into that background. You can't really see the gold splatters uh, that I'd use the shimmer brush for on the pattern paper in this um, setting on the video here but they are there and you can see them on the actual page so I've just found these other um, other gems that were from uh, an Easter collection called Daisy Meadows and there's some gorgeous pastels um, and different shades here that I am also placing at various points just to add interest around the layout uh, so the bake cut file um, there's a few sort of detail bits in it that were kind of cool and you are able to, um, you could have backed these separately or backed it all together um, but I quite liked just them sitting there as they are in that central space because I've sort of, everything else is really busy, it's nice to draw your attention into the centre where that cut file is. So I've cut down a um, pocket card there with some lines on it and I'm just going to back it on some of the paper as I've done with the photos and trim that down and then I've done the journaling on that in a pewter pen and I'm just going to tuck that into that central spot there so that it just sits underneath that photo and I'm going to curl up the edges around there as I've done with the photos and the different layouts on the page. So I am having a look around here for some different sticker embellishments that I could pull in. So I've just got some random sticker sheets. Uh, there's a party time one. I thought there might have been quite a few on there. Um, some of them don't really work, so I end up putting it back on the sheet. Um, but I quite like to be able to pull them off or cut around them just so that I can see what will fit and where it might fit on the page. So I've just popped a few different lettering um, or a few different words there from that sticker sheet 
onto the page and just added a little bit more of a date on the journaling there. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out the information below if you want to find any of these products. And I um, look forward to seeing you back here soon.